Hello, gem hunter. We all know that there are many valuable and rare gemstones in the world, such as rubies and diamonds. But what if I told you that a seemingly ugly stone full of imperfections could be worth as much as a diamond? Would you believe it? Well, I'm talking about meteorites. That's right. But why are they worth so much? The answer lies in the fact that they carry valuable information about the universe. To give you an idea, if you tried to look for a meteor in space with a rocket, the cost of such an expedition would be billions of dollars. Now, how do you recognize a meteorite? Well, if you find a stone, how do you know if it's a meteorite or not? When we think of meteorites, we immediately picture a heavy, dark stone. However, they fall into three main categories, rock meteorites, iron meteorites, and mixed meteorites, which are a combination of iron and rock. Of these, iron meteorites are the easiest to identify because they stand out from ordinary terrestrial rocks. These meteorites are significantly heavier, about three times as dense as an ordinary rock. In addition, their interior resembles steel with a unique metallic appearance that is very different from other types of meteorites. So what are the main characteristics of meteorites? If you find one, you'll notice that it has depressions and grooves called regmaglites, which give the stone a wavy appearance, as if it had bubbles on the surface. There is also a thin black layer on the outside called fusion crust, which is the result of the rock burning up as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. Inside, meteorites are usually lighter, with a metallic color similar to steel. Another important characteristic is that they have no definite shape. This is due to the intense changes they undergo before reaching Earth, either through cosmic collisions or the process of entering the atmosphere, which often fragments them. For this reason, meteorites rarely have aerodynamic shapes. They are not long, thin, or perfectly round, and even less do they have a polished surface. Another interesting detail is that most meteorites are attracted to magnets due to their high iron content. But be careful, just because a rock is attracted to a magnet does not mean that it is a meteorite. There are several terrestrial rocks, such as magnetite, that also have this property. It is therefore important to consider other aspects for a more accurate identification. In fact, being attracted to a magnet is one of the signs that the rock may be a meteorite. This is one of the first tests you can do at home to verify this possibility. However, identifying meteorites can be a complex process, so it's always wise to seek expert help to make sure you're not just dealing with an ordinary rock. To facilitate this identification, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. offers several resources for those curious about their finds. The museum has meteorite experts who provide online guides and educational materials that explain how to distinguish a meteorite from other terrestrial rocks. In addition, the Smithsonian allows you to send in a sample of your rock for analysis. The museum has a detailed procedure for collecting, packaging, and safely shipping the sample so that experts can make an accurate assessment and determine if the object is indeed a meteorite. I'm leaving the step-by-step -step link in the video description so you can access the instructions directly from the Smithsonian. There you'll find all the information you need, from practical tips and visual examples to the form to submit your samples. Then be sure to check out the link in the description where you'll find the detailed flowchart and other tools to help you determine if your rock is indeed a meteorite. Now let's talk a little about some of the meteorites that have fallen in the United States. In the last 20 years, there have been some notable meteorite falls in this country. The largest and most famous of these was the Sierra del Carmen meteorite, which fell in the U.S.-Mexico border region of Texas in 2007. This meteorite is remarkable for its size and the speed with which it was recovered. It is one of the largest meteorites recently found in the United States and is of great scientific importance. Another significant example is the Norton County meteorite, which fell in Norton County, Kansas in 2006. This meteorite is interesting because it was one of the few to be accurately recorded and documented due to its visibility and the impact it caused in its fall area. The Murrayville meteorite, which fell in Murrayville, Illinois in 2003, is also a notable case. It was one of the meteorites that generated a lot of interest due to its visual impact and the fact that it was found and studied in detail. In addition, the Ainsworth meteorite, which fell in Ainsworth, Nebraska in 2002, is notable for the large number of fragments found. 
This has helped to study the dispersion of meteorites after they enter the atmosphere. Finally, the Murray meteorite, which fell in Murray, Kentucky in 2000, is significant because it was one of the first large meteorites to be documented and studied extensively. Why can meteorites be worth millions? They are true witnesses to the early formation of the solar system and the universe, providing valuable information about the origin and evolution of these celestial bodies. These relics, which have remained intact since the formation of the solar system some 4.5 billion years ago, are invaluable to scientists as they help us better understand how it all began. Most meteorites weigh about 10 grams and are the size of a grain of beans or even smaller. When they enter the Earth's atmosphere, their high speed causes them to partially burn up, creating a phenomenon known as a shooting star. The bright trail you see in the sky when a shooting star passes is actually a small meteorite burning up and leaving a glowing trail. Larger meteorites that can be found on Earth are much rarer and have an extremely high scientific value. These fragments are highly sought after by museums and collectors around the world who are willing to pay substantial sums to add such an ancient and valuable piece to their collection. But have you ever wondered if there are meteorites in your area? Take a closer look at the rocks you find. You may discover a meteorite, whether it fell recently or has been on Earth for millions of years, just waiting to be found. Be sure to analyze any suspicious rock carefully. It could contain a valuable part of our universe. So if this topic has piqued your interest and you would like to delve deeper into this incredible world of gemstones, there are many videos here on the channel where you can learn how to identify different types of gemstones. But if you don't want to watch all the videos, on the first link in the description, you can buy the book Gemology for Beginners, which is a fantastic digital book with all the knowledge you need in one place, made exclusively for people who want to start learning about gemstones. So now that you know all about meteorites, in this video that's about to appear on your screen, you can find out where the real diamonds that are found in the rivers of your region come from. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Good luck, gem hunters!